What's up, everybody? It's Network Brett. I finally got access to my degree plan with uh, Western Governors University. I'm going for my bachelor's in uh, network and cloud engineering, Cisco track. I already imported some uh, some certifications, so I have my CCNA, my Network Plus, my Security Plus. So those are not involved in this track, only because I already have the credits for them. But I finally have access to see what all the classes are, so I'm just going to kind of go over what, them with you. I was curious to this before I started. I'm not sure if it changes, but right now it is uh, 2025. If you if you see, I actually put that I want to graduate in March 2027, which I know is not all that realistic. Uh, I'm going to make this a little bigger. You don't really need to see to the right. It's just the start date. Uh, let me make sure you can see this well. Yeah, you, it just has the start date on the side, so you don't really need that. But it's kind of, it's broken up into different terms. So I actually haven't started yet. I start November 1st. I don't know that I'll have early access to it. It is, you know, October 15th now. But I need, I guess I need 112 credits. And right now I actually started with 9 uh, if you see, it says I need 112 over there overall. And I'm just going to go over which classes there are. There's a lot less general education than I thought there was going to be, actually. So orientation, which I just got today and started today. They just need to approve that I finished that. Um, let me see. So it looks like the assessments, there's a performance assessment here and an objective assessment. It looks like they're kind of varying. Like one's this is performance, this one's objective. I'm just kind of looking at the format with you. So let's go over my first term. It's going to be introduction to IT, IT applications, technical communication, composition, self-expression. So I'm, that's a writing one. I'm I'm almost sure. Uh, let's see IT applications. See if we can look at it at all. So yeah, this looks like a uh, labs are included to help you practice. Oh, well, this is kind of, I have to finish my A+. I don't have my A+, currently. It looks like this is one of the cores for A+. So, oh, wow. So the objective assessment for this one is actually my CompTIA A+, certification. Um, I think that's core two. So that probably means that this other one I was looking at, Introduction to IT, would that be Core 1? No. Okay. Pre-assessment. Yeah, see, some of these things are, they, they seem a little heavy. Like, it doesn't sound like much when you're like, oh, four classes. I mean, it depends. If you're used to school, maybe a class sounds like a lot. But I'm used to just taking certifications on my own. So, like, once, I guess, though, if you count every module as, like, a certification, this is kind of a lot of work. And, you know, like I said, I kind of, I put March, March 2027 in hopes that somehow I'm, like, the freak athlete of Western Governors and finish it all within a year and a half. But, but I doubt that's going to happen. Um, so, yeah, that IT applications, that's the one where... Is actually core two of the CompTIA A+. Um, the writing ones, I'm not that great at writing, uh, but I'm not going to resort to like ChatGPT to cheat or anything. I'm just going to actually, I, I, you know, I want to take a lot from this degree. I don't want to just speed run it. I want to do it fast for sake of saving some money, but I don't want to do it fast at the cost of me not learning what the actual stuff is. So I'm going to school to you know, get my degree in network and cloud engineering. And I want to fully be able to be a network and cloud engineer by the end of it. So whether that takes me two years, three years, four years, the more important goal for me personally is the growth that I'm going to find with it, the focus that I'll have to be able to reach 
and just the actual capabilities, the technical capabilities to become a network or cloud engineer. So just kind of, that's that's my view on things. So first one, 13, 13 uh, u- units or whatever, credits. So this Linux Foundation was one, I think this one is uh, maybe where I have to take the Linux Plus. I think there was one where I have to take the Linux Plus. That might just be an introduction to Linux. Let's see what IT foundations. And some of these, you know, Linux, how granular are you getting? Oh, here's the other CompTIA A+. So, you know, these are going to take a while. I can't really... I'm I'm pretty good with uh, networking a little more than hardware, so I'm gonna have to really study that. Uh, I'll, I'll do a quick scroll in case you want to just look, you know, take screenshot study on your own because you might want to look up some of these DevNet fundamentals. That one looks heavy. Cyber operations fundamentals. That one looks probably heavy too. Um, anything where the credit unit or whatever the CUs is larger, I'm thinking is going to take a lot more. Um, you know, I'm, things like U.S. history, I'm kind of excited to take because I'm excited to just take a break from IT sometimes. Um, you know, I've been studying IT so long, it just, it gets old, you know. So I, I have a capstone project. I have no idea what that's going to look like. Um, it looks like the... The highest math might be applied algebra. That sounds easy. Uh, I'm, I am just naturally good at math, so that I'm I'm more scared of the, the English assignments, whatever those are. Integrated physical sciences. I have no idea about system thinking's, systems thinking and applications. No idea. Virtualization and infrastructure as a, as a service. I could probably do that one. You know, these this is more of the stuff that I've been studying already. Yeah, this is kind of the overview of what the Cisco track looks like. Of course, the CCNA would be in here. And that's where I get a little bit scared because, you know, they have the this DevNet fundamentals. And I probably took, it's hard to say because I failed it once and retook it. But my CCNA took a really long time for me. That was not easy stuff to get through. The labs were not easy to get through. Um, I failed it the first time, so I wanted to be a little more sure the second time, so I took even longer. Um, so if this DevNet Cisco Associate certification is anything similar to the CCNA, I mean, this by itself might take me six months or something, this one class, you know? So, you know, I'm not that confident that I can just, you know, rush through this while certain like U.S. history, I feel like I could, <laughs> I could probably rush through that, right? But some of these technical ones, to really get the most out of them and, and feel like I'm leaving with more knowledge and more skills than I had in the first place, that might take some serious time. Um, but at the same time, it doesn't look that crazy hard. The telecom and wireless communications that might be interesting. Now, Python, I am a little bit nervous about. I have a little bit of experience with Python. Like, I've read some of a Python book, and I I can understand it the first time I read it. But as far as writing code, I would say I'm not good at Python. Um, Yeah, that might be harder than... But very useful, too. And I, I think there's Ansible somewhere in here for, like, automating network stuff, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So I'm going to look at this telecom one because it's pretty interesting. I wonder what type of assessment it'd be. Telecom and wireless communication. Yeah, this could be anything. Like How it transmits data. How granular are you getting with that? Are you talking about like OFDMA, like orthogonal frequency, blah, blah, blah? You know? 
<laughs> what are we talking? Are we talking about how ISPs use like quadruple NAT? That could be wildly complicated. Um, but yeah, if you, oh, AI for IT automation and security, cloud and network security models, cloud applications, the Internet of Things. Maybe they'll talk about RPL, the, uh, I forgot what RPL stands for. It's like, it's really funny and weird. I want to make a individual video on that. But yeah. Oh, applied probability and statistics. I've always wanted to take statistics, so that's cool. You know, and this is a really, this is a really rough video. Just me literally looking at the course. I am very excited to start. Um, just a couple weeks now, I'll be able to really dig my hands into this and and share with everybody how it's going for me, maybe how hard it is. I might be surprised by how hard it is. I might think, oh, wow, this is pretty easy. Some classes might surprise me more than others, but I just want to share it with people. I know a lot of people are maybe thinking, you know, I want, I want to get my cloud and network engineering bachelor's from Western Governors University, too. So people are going to search this and think, what's in the course? Here's the video for you. Uh, you know, scroll through the video. I'll do one last scroll up just so you can kind of research thing on, things on your own. Maybe you're more worried about the applied algebra than I am. Uh, maybe you want to research that on, on its own. Maybe the cyber, cyber operations fundamentals might scare you. Whatever it is, you can look through these kind of search what they are little more about them um, but yeah really excited and I will keep sharing my journey